Hi guys, welcome to Silver Lake Honey. Today what we're doing is we're installing double deep frames into our regular hives. So we're gonna use two double deep frames in the middle of the box, hopefully uh, during the winter and uh, cold weather to help bees concentrate in the middle of the box to prevent isolation, starvation during the cold winter months and also to um, ensure the bees are um, preventing the dead space between the boxes, between the frames, so the bees don't have the place to cross between uh, bottom of the top of the bottom frame and bottom of the top box. So that frame between the boxes is called dead space and sometimes bees die in the bottom box even if we have full box full of honey. So in order to prevent that I'm using two frames a double deep size in the middle of our regular hives. Um, right now I'm uh, gonna use 50 of my hives uh, in that configuration and another 100, 120 hives are gonna, are gonna be regular double deeps, uh, regular, uh, regular deep frames in two boxes. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm gonna give you update and uh, monitor throughout the winter to see uh, if that helps. Also, uh, those double deep frames are gonna concentrate uh, uh, the queen to lay, you know, continuous uh, round uh, brood pattern and create more winter bees. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, so let's go install those double deep frames. Okay, so here we have a box that's, uh, that has uh, 10 double D frames. So what we're we gonna do is we're gonna leave two of these frames in the original hive and we're gonna move eight frames to four different hives. So first thing we're gonna do is find the queen. I'm gonna find the queen and cage the queen so we can work uh, the rest of the frames. Just to make sure we don't transfer the queen with the frames. They did the uh, first part of the frame and the rest is plastic foundation. Let's see the second frame. Second frame is honey. So we're looking for the queen. There's some pollen honey. Okay, here's the queen, right here. So we're gonna cage the queen so we can work the rest of the frame. Gonna grab her by the wings, right here, and put her in the cage. Okay, so she's inside the cage right here. So, now what we're gonna do is find uh, the hives that we're gonna install these frames into and do uh, uh, arrange the frames so we have brood on the bottom and honey on the top with two of those frames in the middle. We're gonna put the queen on top of the frames so they can smell her pheromone. So we're gonna take a look at the regular production hive and see how many frames of brood, how many braids of honey do they have and uh, prepare, rearrange the frames 
for the double D frames. So we have a nice frame of honey with pollen. This is also honey. So we're gonna leave this one. It's a brood frame with honey on the side. So we're gonna take four frames. So we're gonna take two brood and two honey. So one brood. One honey. There's another honey uh, brood. So two brood. frame we're gonna leave this one and put it on the bottom it's a brood I'm gonna go on the bottom Here's the queen. So I will okay, she is the queen right here. So we have a queen right here. She's not marked, so we're gonna take this chance and marker she's really nice young queen so we want to take chance and mark our queens so we know she's this year queen uh, I'm gonna put her in the cage right here so we know where she's at and we can work the frames easier so we know the, our queen is right here we don't have chance to moving the queen or rolling her or crushing another thing when you work um, during the dirt time and when you remove the honey you have to work quickly because of, you don't want to create robbing. So robbing is a huge problem. So that's why I'm kind of hurrying. So this is another brood frame. We're going to move down. And another honey frame that's going to stay up. And another honey frame. So I'm gonna shake this one to move to the other hive. So we have right here we have two honey frames and we have two brood frames. Two honey frames and we have two brood frames that we're gonna move. So four frames in uh, deep frames instead of two double deep frames. So four mm -hmm. for two. And now we're gonna arrange this double deep. So we have honey, we have honey, honey. So we have three frames of honey so far. So let's move this box. Okay, let's see what's going on in the bottom box. Okay, so let's see what we have here. 
Okay, so we have honey and pollen. So that's gonna be in our top box. Okay, so we have four frames of honey so far. Four frames of honey. Okay. Okay, next one is a frame. Yeah, all brood. So we have one frame of brood. This is probably honey. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna leave two frames of honey on the side and then have the rest brood. And on top box gonna be honey. So so one brood. So we're gonna leave this one here. Want to give some room to the queen. This is our brood. This one's empty. And we have some larvae and eggs. So this is brood. This is brood and pollen, so pollen we're gonna put on the side. This is pollen. And this is honey. So honey is going on top. Okay, so what we have here. So, honey and pollen here, brood, brood, so we have honey and pollen on the side and brood, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more brood, so eight, eight frames, eight frames. Okay, I hope you guys are following me. <laughs> so, so far what we have is two frames with honey and pollen on the side and three frames of brood, eight frames total. And then we're gonna have two double D frames in the middle like this. So, so six frames total for, uh, brood and two frames with honey and pollen on the side. Okay, let's put the second box. Okay, so what we have so far on the top box we have five frames of honey and we're gonna use two of these double deep frames and then three drawn foundations so they have space uh, to collect more all honey. So let's find two, two double deep frames. Okay, I'm gonna use one uh, frame that's all brood. And because those have those bees are pretty strong and have a lot of honey. My second frame. I'm gonna use that this partial frame. So they have all this to work on. Huh? 
So we're gonna put this brood right here. Okay. So we have these double deep frames right in the middle. So they will concentrate in the middle. So now I'm going to add some empty frames. One of them is going right here. I always like to put empty drawn foundations on the side of the box. So what we have so far is we left six frames of brood in the bottom box with two uh, honey and pollen frames on the side and two double deeps in the middle. And we have all this with honey and we have four uh, drawn foundations so they can backfill their stores uh, for the fall. We're going to keep, keep an eye on their stores. Uh, so we're going to move four frames from this original hive. There are two honey and two brood to the, uh, to the hive that we removed two double deeps. And we have two extra brood frames that we're going to donate to another hive we have extra brood frames. Uh, now I'm gonna release the queen back to the hive. There she is. Okay girl go now. There she is right here. Going down. All right queen is down. Back in the hive. So again we're gonna Shake these bees and move these uh, brood frames somewhere where we don't have eight frames. So we're gonna donate these and we're gonna also move these four frames to the other hive. Okay guys, that's it. Bees are a little upset, but that's our configuration that we're gonna do for the 50 hives to do with double deep frames. So let's see how it's gonna go and I'll, I'll keep you updated. Thank you all for watching and happy beekeeping.